let's take the derivative of this so-called sigmoid function. Instead of using the quotient rule, I would probably just rewrite this using properties of exponents and use the chain rule. Multiply by the negative 1, keep the inside, subtract 1 from the power, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of e to the minus x is minus e to the minus x. Go ahead and cancel these negatives and rewrite this again using properties of exponents. A quantity squared means times itself, and I'm writing it like this for a very specific reason. If we do one more algebraic trick, adding and subtracting 1 in the numerator, then splitting up this fraction, this fraction is of course 1, anything over itself is 1, and we have minus this same quantity. Well, what was this quantity? It was the original sigmoid function. And so the derivative of this function is itself times 1 minus itself. But what I think is even more interesting is this derivative. Click the video on the screen to check it out. I'll see you in that one.